In its first year of international competition, Orica AIS exceeded expectations, with more than 20 victories plus a silver medal in the team time trial at the UCI Road World Championships. Part of the leading international cycling organisation Green Edge, it also benefits from being recognised as the Australian Institute of Sports elite program. Hitting the roads around Canberra for a two-week training camp, the 2013 team has some new faces, including some foreign racers. Orica AIS head cycling coach Martin Barras believes this is one of the keys to driving the team forward. The rider roster obviously is a little bit different. The approach that we take to racing will stay the same. Uh, we like a very, very aggressive style of racing. We like a team that's a nice mixture of uh, cultures. And uh, we like riders who get, get on very, very well together as a team. So there's probably going to be more similarities than uh, differences. One of the new faces is Gracie Olven, whose debut with the team at the National Road Championship brought her a gold medal. However, the Canberran is not prepared to rest on her laurels. I've been trying to enjoy my win for the national championships, but um, I haven't made it. I've got so much to learn and I just can't wait to be able to um, learn as much as possible from some of the more experienced girls and to support them on the road. The Australian Institute of Sport last year announced its winning edge model, which aims to take Australia's elite sports to the next level on the world stage. Critical for this model to work is sporting bodies like Cycling Australia, working with its backers, and the AIS. Look, I think the relationship with cycling in particular is one that stemmed over a long time, and so I think there's a fantastic AIS and national sporting organisation relationship here. But with the commercial uh, partnership with Orica uh, and as well as Jayco with Green Edge, I think is, is an example absolutely to other sports. So we'd like to think that, yes, it is a, a bit of a flagship for other sports, an example. The Orica AIS team begins its 2013 campaign next week in Qatar. Uh, it's a race that we actually won last year. It's the first major, uh, major international race of the season. And, uh, you know, as you very well know, when uh, if you do well in your very, very first event of the season or tournament or anything of that nature, it really sets up the tone for the rest of the season. So, so we've been, been spending a lot of time here at the IS this week to make sure that we're well, well prepared for that and uh, to make sure we have a strong start to the international season next week in Qatar. We really want to keep that ranking up there, so we're going to have to really knuckle down this year and make sure we put our best foot forward and just keep the fitness up and really support each other. It's all about teamwork in the end. The AIS also used the launch of the team to reconfirm its commitment to all the elite cycling programs.